It only took four months for the council to approve. There used to be a wall here, and there used to be a wall here, and it closed the space up so much. Flashback a year ago and here we were on this site, we were yet to subdivide and move houses. Fast forward, we've done that, we've got the landscaping complete, we've almost finished the entire product. Two old houses turned into two new houses, turning one section into two and recycling one of the houses. Pretty cool project to be a part of. This beam in here had to get consent took us four months to navigate the council and this place just sat empty while we did that. Uh, but you gotta follow the rules and you gotta do it properly. The implications are that it really does slow down the process and we needed to wait for council, we needed to wait for plans and approval. But now that we're walking around that house, it's fresh and it's new, the changes we've made are so worth it. There's definitely a line and it comes down to cost and what you're trying to achieve and how much you'll gain from ripping out walls. Just to go through the paperwork process, you're costing at least 10 grand and then you've got to do the work that's on the consent. For us, that wasn't that much more in the scheme of things here. We had some demolition, some engineering and some wooden beams. Otherwise, the rest of it was stuff we were going to do anyway. So just before Christmas, we pushed to get the jib on the wall and we got it plastered. And that meant our painter, who likes to work over the Christmas break, he was able to come in. Whole house has been painted. Yeah, there, actually there was a wall right here as well. So again, really little spaces. Looks so fresh. You know, as I was walking around, I was thinking this is a recycled house. We've lifted it up, moved it to site, changed it around, modified it, and it's gonna become someone's home. Done a real good job between the painter and the plasterer, it has come up. It's crazy how much lighter it feels now with it all open and the white paint and the new orientation. Uh, I remember walking through this house when it was on the main road section and it just felt dark and gloomy. Kitchen's going in next week. We've got the hard floor, soft floor going down. Sparky will come in and put in lights, plugs, switches, and then our plumber will come and do his fit off. We'll give the outside one last clean up and then we'll hand it over to the uh, rental manager and it'll be, become another property on the market. really stoked with the final outcome, pushing for the last few pieces in that house to get done, and then we're there. Uh, one other thing you can push is our subscriber count. Push it up, go ahead, click subscribe.